Turn it up, mm. turn it up, turn it up, turn it up. Welcome back, Dukes and Dukettes. It's your man, Eddie Ed, it's Eddie Ed TV. Back with another reaction. Y'all see the title, man. I am very excited for these food videos I'm about to do. This one is I Made Every Discontinued Fast Food. Now, we know there's a lot of discontinued fast food items from the McDonald's, from the Burger King, all the way from the Wendy's. You know, there's a whole bunch of different fast food options out there. So, let's see which ones are discontinued. Y'all know, back in the day, they used to have a lot of, a lot of cheap but tasty items. So, let's hop straight into this video, man. I already know I'm going to start drooling. Pause. But let's, let's watch. Steady at TV. Pow. On today's video, discontinue items from fast food. Enough talking. Let's begin. First up, KFC. KFC. I mean, take a look at this monstrosity. Now, how it's made, it's quite simple. Already, off for the bat, you're dying. There, no wonder why they discontinue, but it, <laughs> they probably had some death cases. Cause look at all that sugar, bro. That's too. That's that's way too much. Me personally, I'm not eating the whole thing, even though it might be really tasty. I just know I'm gonna be paralyzed after I eat that. Like you're going to sleep. First, you gotta make some donuts. We God, like Krispy Kreme. Krispy There's Kreme. something special about it. It is and special. The original glaze is the way to go. Drop in the comments right now. We gotta say this on air. Drop in the comments right now if you're a Krispy Kreme lover or a or Dunkin' Donut lover. I know we got the Dunkin' Donut people out there. Okay, they they got some good donuts too. I like certain certain ones, but I'm talking about just off of the regular glaze. Would you go for the Krispy Kreme regular glaze or would you go for the Dunkin' Donuts regular glaze? Drop it in the comments, let's see. Next up for the chicken, they were using chicken breast. So first soak the breast in buttermilk, then immediately dredge in all-purpose flour with a special seasoning, fry them up real good until mm. it's nicely golden brown, and then one Krispy Kreme donut on the bottom, followed by that chicken breast. Add another donut as your top bun, and to finish it off, some hot honey. Now this gotta be a million calories, and I have yeah. no idea why it was taken off the menu, but does it People taste as dying. good as it looks? Well, let's find out. That's why I was taking off, this one here, gentlemen. What do you guys think? Oh, calorie heaven. It looks like some of that glaze has dripped onto the chicken. It's actually honey. Oh. Hot honey to be specific. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> so let's give it a go, huh? Let's see. I got This one is too messy. Where is this from? Good. Where do you think? Krispy There's no Kreme? way it's from Krispy Kreme. Krispy Kreme? No, 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 no. It's oh. actually KFC. KFC is so weird. I know, I know, I know. All right, let's dig in. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. You're trying to kill people. God damn, that's good. Oh, I hate it. That's terrible <laughs> for me. Nothing, no. That's disgusting. You enjoy that? Bro. <laughs> you say you hate it. Bro. It's too sweet. The combination oh. is just weird, everybody. It's like they shouldn't mix, you know? I love fried chicken by itself. I love donuts by itself. But when they get married, they're gonna get divorced real quick. <laughs> Next up, Pizza Hut. And this one brings back a lot of memories. Ah, oh yeah! I have no idea why Ugh. it was taken off the menu. Surprisingly, to make it, it's super simple. And that's because Pizza Hut already had the pig. Nah, the take that off the menu, made. doggy. Yeah, it's fast food, remember? So first up, stretch out the dough really nicely, then add it to a tray, followed by a good amount of tomato sauce. We can't forget the cheese, and of course, the pepperoni. And the key here is to add the pigs in a blanket right on the sides, making it look super cool. But remember to leave some spaces in between, because they're gonna puff up as you cook them. Talking about that, right before doing so, go ahead and apply some egg wash on top. <laughs> Then bake it into hey, the oven I'm not gonna lie, the accent is hilarious. Once it's done, take a look. Again, I wish Pizza Hut never took this off the menu. Does it taste as good as it looks? Ha ha! Check it Damn. out! Damn! That looks awesome! I know, I know! What do you think? It's like too perfect. It's like too perfect. <laughs> this is from Pizza Hut, by the way. Pizza Hut? No way! Let's give it a try, please. Be careful, it's a little bit hot. You ready? Wait, wait, everybody, okay, just let, kind of let, pull it. Let's, uh, let's <laughs> get ready. make sure our slices... Are ready. you good to go? Yeah, not yet. Cheers, everybody! Cheers! Cheers. Let's see. I'm gonna go for a bite together. Mm. Me too. 
This is delicious, everybody. Come on, man. I'm at a loss for words, bro, because this little pig in a blanket, yeah. the dough on this is like a little bit sweeter than the dough on the pizza. Yeah. So everything gets a little bit sweeter, but plus on top of that, you got a little bit of meat. And then on top of it, you got the pepperoni. It's just perfect. Bring it back. You guys agree? Yes, please. Bring it back. Next up, McDonald's. McDonald's. It's the Hula Burger. Okay. It was originally made for Catholics when they cannot is eat that meat. And apparently, it failed pineapple? miserably. Now, to make this is super simple. First up, to give some flavor, toast your buns with some butter. Oh, yes, that's important. As the next important ingredient oh, yeah, is yeah, actually yeah. pineapple. pineapple. You want to toast it really good and nah, get some char bro. on it. That way, at least you get some extra flavor. Now, how many people... Like pineapple on their pizzas. How many people are are pineapple pizza lovers? Me personally, it does taste good, but I don't like them on the pizza necessarily. So I don't get them. That's just for me. But drop it in the comments if you like pineapples on your pizza. Let's see. I'm curious. So McDonald's built it like this. First the bun, followed by one slice of cheese. Don't forget about the pineapple, another slice of cheese, and of course the yeah, top bun. The cheese no sauce don't mix. anything. Doesn't that look delicious to you? No. I wonder why it was taken off the menu. Well, let's see if we can understand the reason why. Oh, what the f is that? That does not look right. It is a <laughs> burger from McDonald's, also known as the Hula Burger. Oh! That's a pineapple? Yep. Ah, <laughs> uh, this is not gonna be fun. It's not gonna pineapple be good, bro. And cheese. That's you a could tell. That should never exist. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's find out. You don't know that. It might be good. Let's find what out. What if right it now. is good? I don't think mm, it's gonna be see. good, bro. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. 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 Oh my god. I knew it. Mm. That's bad. I knew it, oh, man. Oh well, that's terrible. So this is the one that got discontinued for good reason, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's a big no. <laughs> Next up, KFC. We got KFC now, again. Look at this hot dog. <clears throat> it is okay. called the devil. So a meat taco with meat in the taco. Okay. I'm not gonna lie. Um the meat taco shape idea. Was a pretty good idea. Now, is it gonna miss? Cause it's two different meats. Pause. We're talking about a lot of meat here. Meat alert. Meat alert. Huh? But I don't know if it's gonna be a. It depends. I think it depends on what you put in the middle. I think it could go well with some things, but not everything. Double down dog. Now you tell me, why was this taken off the menu? Because at least to me, it sounds fantastic. Or maybe not. To make it, it's pretty straightforward. First up, slice a chicken breast right in the middle. Then you want to create a nice thick batter using buttermilk. Throw your chicken in there first, followed by the flour dredge. Ooh. Immediately fry it up. Once it's golden brown, boil a hot dog in water uh. until it's fully cooked. Add the thing right in the middle. And for the original version, throw in some mustard right on top. Now this is the double down dog. Check it out. What is what? <laughs> oh, this is like a hot dog? That looks amazing. That looks amazing. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. It might be mm. good. Oh, I like it. Oh, that's a lot of mustard. I can't tell what's more tender, the chicken or the hot dog. <laughs> Dude, I didn't even feel the hot dog going through. What? Huh? I love it. And the mustard is Yo. really nice too because it adds a little bit of moisture that this sandwich <laughs> kind of needs. We definitely agree. This one should definitely come back on the menu. Yes? Yep. Yep. Next up, McDonald's. He didn't feel the meat coming the through as wild. I cannot believe McDonald's took this off the menu. Wait, McDonald's had lobster? Bruh, don't eat that. You know, that's not real, bro. That is not real. That is not no real lobster, man. McDonald's had lobster. By the way, I, it looks good. It looks delicious. Okay. It looks phenomenal. But I just don't trust that McDonald's had real lobster meat. It had to be like 5% lobster meat and something else, man. You know, you look like, look at their beef patties. They're, those aren't beef patties. Those are bark patties, bro. But let's, let's see. I, you know, I've seen some pictures of like some crab sandwiches just like that. It looks so good. Drop in the comments where I can get some crab sandwiches. I'm going to eat some. So if y'all want me to do some taste tests, drop it in the comments where I can do some good food reviews. Because I'm trying to eat something. Pause. I'm trying to eat some good food.
kidnapped the Mac Lobster. I cannot believe McDonald's took this off the menu because at least to me it looks phenomenal. If you have any idea why, let us know in the comments down below. Fake now the meat. way it was made, it was interesting. They first toasted the buns with butter. That is a good thing. And the lobster meat already arrived pre-cooked in the restaurant. Ooh. Then you add some cayenne pepper, followed by chives, a good amount of mayo, and yeah. you mix everything well. To build, you first add a layer of lettuce, followed by a generous amount of the lobster. Now I'm pretty sure McDonald's did not add this much because I'll tell you one thing: lobster is expensive. Lobster Check is it expensive. Out, that's everybody. What, that's what I'm saying. Lobster is expensive, so you know McDonald's ain't spending that much money on uh, some high quality meat, bro. Cause look how they look at the beef patties. Just look. Hey, what do you think? Ooh, what fast food restaurant is that from? <laughs> lobster rolls from McDonald's. McDonald's? What <laughs> the <laughs> hell? Lobster rolls in McDonald's? I yep. did not know about that. 100%. Never I seen it. I trust McDonald's filet of fish let alone Bro, lobster from McDonald's. that's what I'm saying. Damn, is that bad? That's pretty fair. I'm not going to lie. I, mean, I agree. Everybody okay, knows, bro. Let's taste it. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Nobody's trusting that, man. Wow, oh bro. Oh my god. <laughs> McDonald's ain't do it like that though. They didn't do it like that. Jesus, this is good. That is incredible, everybody. Wow. Don't understand why it was taken out of the menu. The only it was thing too that expensive. comes to mind is because it's ridiculously expensive lobster. But you know, this is so good. If they put this at $15 on their menu, I would buy it. <laughs> Imagine a $15 iron. I straight up would buy it. It's so good. Next up, Taco hey, Bell. I want some Take of that. Look at this burrito. That looks delicious. Okay, but there's like something very special long about this one that it's session. no longer in the menu. And to make it, it's quite interesting because first is just a regular burrito. They add a good amount of ground beef in mm, there, okay. followed by some cilantro rice. For some crunch, a little bit of tortilla chips, a good <laughs> amount of cheese, some okay. sour cream, and their special seasoning, which I'm using using Valentina sauce. But here's the special ingredient. Pop rocks. What? Yes, Pop rocks. What in the world was Taco Bell thinking? What are you now, thinking? Even though this looks like a delicious burrito, the way it was meant to be eaten is just insane. Let's give it a try right now and see how it tastes. What do you think? Pop right here. Oh, Taco Bell. Okay. Burritos. Yeah, burrito. It's a regular burrito. What makes it special is actually this. Can you read that? Taco Bell cayenne popping crystals. <laughs> By the way, I misspelled that, everybody. I know you're going to correct. <laughs> That's my fault, okay? I know you're all going to make fun of me in the comment section. But it's supposed to be Cayenne. It's okay, Google. English isn't your first language. That's a, Damn, hey, good bro. excuse. Good excuse. Yeah, yeah. Roasting me on my own video over here. Grab your burrito. Little bit of the popping crystal for you and a good amount for you as well. Oh, there oh. you go. Let's give it a try and see if this is a good idea or a bad one. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. <clears throat> That's so weird. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a little bit of heat. Oh my god, it's so weird when you swallow it. It literally feels like like it's sparkling all the way down. Oh yeah, <laughs> dude, this yeah. is freaking awesome. <laughs> I feel like I'm having a fireworks show in my mouth right now as I'm eating this. The actual Yo. burrito. It's Yo. a Taco Bell burrito. It's, not yeah, great. it's just a normal burrito. It's not the best, but I guess they were trying to make it fun. I mean, do you like it? It is fun. It is very it's fun. fun. I'm not. It is fun. I don't like it. You love it. You? I like it, but it's a little strange. Next up, KFC. Oh. This is called Chitsa. Italian friends. I just got a good idea. Know for self. Do a challenge video with Pop Rocks. Look away right now because it's not a pizza. It's also not a chicken parm. It is an abomination for all Italians. Let me show you how it's made. First up, grab a chicken breast, then flatten it out really good. Once that's done, season it well with salt and pepper, then immediately throw it in flour, followed by egg wash and breadcrumbs. Once that's done, into a 350 degree oil it goes. Once it's golden brown, lay it down on a cooling rack, add tomato marinara right on top, followed by mozzarella cheese, a good amount of ham, and Ugh. add some more cheese right on top. Now into ham. a broiler it goes so everything can melt, and once that's done, there you have it. Chitsa from KFC. KFC See, could they'll make a chicken sauce like they'll make every everything that you could think of out of chicken chicken fry did it make chicken fries or was that only burger king i know burger king did make it but did they make chicken fries as well oh that looks amazing <laughs> it's oh. supposed to be a pizza but it's uh chicken i don't know how i feel about chicken it. pizza pizza Simple. can you guess which restaurant kfc KFC. Really? Really? You were gonna I say. I was about it. to say it, but. <laughs> you ready for it? Wow, it smells good. Okay, cheers, everybody. Cheers. cheers. Oh, come on. Wow.
Why did they take this out of the menu, everybody? Bro. They would make a killing if they put this back. This is good. This one deserves to come back, everybody. We enjoyed it. Next up, Taco Bell. Taco this Bell. Is called Naked Chicken Chalupa. Chalupas. Now, just by the looks, you can probably understand why he has that name. I'm not quite sure what Taco Bell was trying to do with this one, but hey, here we are. So in order to make this, it's super simple as well. First, open up a chicken breast, then run it through the breading process. First, the flour, followed by the egg wash, and of course, breadcrumbs. In order to make a taco shape, Taco Bell has a specific tool. We don't. So we're using a bench scraper. Just lay it underneath and fold the whole thing right on top. Now fry it up at a 350 degrees Fahrenheit oil. The goal here is to try to maintain the shape. You gotta go nice and easy though, yeah, because see? once you have a nice golden brown crust and it's fully cooked, your taco shell is now ready. To assemble, add a good amount of mayo underneath, followed by some lettuce, some stringy cheese, and of course, tomatoes. Now take a look at it, friends. I don't know about you, but this one actually looks appealing to me. But of mm. course, the only thing that really matters is the taste. Come on, check it out. Wow. What is that, dude? <laughs> <laughs> Can you guys guess where uh, which restaurant it comes from? Taco Bell? Mmm, good job. It's a taco. Is that chicken? Yes. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. That is amazing. That is fantastic. This is nasty, bro. <laughs> what? The outside is amazing. The inside is terrible. I am in love with this concept and even more in love with the flavors that it has. I love how the mayo is on the inside so it gives a nice sauce and yes. creaminess. And I like the vegetables too. You know, it adds more volume, it's more filling and it adds a nice taste to it. I am a huge fan of this. I love it. Taco Bell, put it back on the menu, you. Put that back on the menu. Next up, put it back. KFC. This might be one of the most famous discontinued item and you might already know what it is. It's called the Double Down. And surprisingly, it's pretty straightforward to make. First thing to do is to use some chicken breast. Then you add it to the buttermilk mix, followed by the flour dredge, which has all the secret spices. Then immediately fry it up. Once it's nice and golden brown, on the bottom layer, I add a good amount of mayo, followed by two slices of American cheese. Of course, you can't forget about the bacon. And to finish it off, another fried chicken with mayo right on top. This is the Double Down from KFC. And since this was a success, they actually brought it back a few times. But nowadays, it's still discontinued. I never had it. Too and much is it money. as good as it looks? Well, we're about to find out right now. Ooh. Oh, I know this one. I know this one. That's a Double Down. That is the Double Down from ah, KFC. I used to eat this one. I feel like that was just on the menu. Yeah, it wasn't not long ago at all. It's gone? It's gone. They took it out. I'm not, I'm not even gonna lie. I didn't even know they took it off. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh my god. Bring it back. Why did they chuck this off the menu? Dude, you can taste that bacon. Because, so man, that is amazing. That's probably man. losing that money. Is a 10 out of 10. We'll highly recommend that. It's fantastic. Oh my god. I, I like this so much, I don't know what to do with my hand. You can't go wrong with chicken, cheese, bacon, mayo, and another piece of chicken, everybody. Come on. KFC, bring it back. We all agree. Next up, we got McDonald's. When I looked at this, the first thing Ooh, that came to this? mind was chicken nuggets. Yeah. But it's not. They are onion nuggets. Uh, I had no, no idea why it's a discontinued item because it sounds pretty good. And it was pretty onion cheap for them nuggets. to make it. First I mean, that's kind of like onion onions, rings, I then guess. Then slice them real good. You're looking for I nice so. large pieces just uh, like this. Now though. dredge them into a nice thick batter. Oh, no, as the next man. step is to throw them directly into the oil. That's kind of large, baby. Brown, let the excess oil drain out. And there you have it. Onion nuggets. Nuggets. I don't know, now, is man. this good or nasty? I don't know, but at least to me, it sounds interesting. Let's find out. Let's see. Chicken oh. nuggets. <laughs> yeah, I know what that looks like. Come on now. Some chicken nuggets. You ready to try it? They discontinued chicken nah. nuggets. Wait, right, just, just grab one. Let's give it a go. <laughs> it's Here, not chicken, chicken nugget. nugget. Notice that the chicken nugget batter is a little bit different. Yeah, it looks a little bit darker, but it <laughs> looks about to bite into like a light shape. I'm curious You're trying to, to see. prank them. Well, let's give it a try right now. All right. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. This is not a chicken nugget. <laughs> not chicken. That is not a chicken nugget. I'm actually okay with it. Well, I kind of like, like it, yeah. I like it. <laughs> I was a little bit mad when I first bit into it, but you know what? It's not bad. <laughs> not bad at it's, all. It's really not bad. Next, we got Taco Bell. 
Yes, at a certain time, Taco Bell wanted to get into the burger business. And since they already had ground beef, they thought, let's make a sloppy joe and see how it goes. And here's how they made it. They actually toasted their buns first with some butter. Then using their taco ground beef, they added in. Followed by that taco cheese they also use. And lettuce, which is also used on other items. And of course, the top bun. Now take a look at this, friends. Would you order this from Taco Bell? And is this even good? I have no idea. Well, I'll tell you one thing. I'm excited to find out. Let's see. I cannot wait to see your reaction for this one. What do you guys think? <laughs> the saddest burger on earth. <laughs> what, what is that? <laughs> so hold on, because I know it's hard to tell. It doesn't even but look let like me a do burger. This. Oh, oh, this is like ground beef. Yes, exactly. Oh, it's a slappy joe? Oh, it not... is a slappy joe. Now, I would love oh. for you to tell oh. me who Ooh. makes this. It's actually from Taco Bell. Taco it's Taco Bell. Bell's attempt on getting into the burger business. They messed up. Well, you don't know yet. Let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Well, if Taco Bell made it like that. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with it. I mean, it's literally the same thing you find in a taco in Taco Bell, but with buns. I hate to say it, but this is actually pretty good. <laughs> Bring it back, Taco Bell. We actually enjoyed it. Next up, we got Popeye. Finally, Popeye! This is their attempt of being different. And apparently, they failed miserably. It looks like chicken tenders. even though this looks like regular chicken tenders, it's not. What and here's it? why. First up, get some tenders. Then throw them in buttermilk mix. That is pretty standard. Here's where things go south. Into okay. a bowl, throw in shortcake mix. Yes, to make oh, cake. Followed no. by garlic powder, salt, and MSG. Cake then immediately mix. throw in your chicken tenders in there. Once that's done no. and you have a nice coating, the rest is pretty standard. Fry them until you get a nice golden brown color and they're fully uh, cooked. Once that's done, the only thing left to do is to plate I mean, them up it don't and look try terrible, them. Though. These were called sweet and crunchy tenders. Check it out! Oh, oh some chicken tenders, okay. That it was really nice. It might and be it good. It's a little too normal for this video. I agree 100%. <laughs> but it's all about the flavor. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Yeah, bro, I had this yesterday. Same you don't thing. feel any difference? No. What's going on here? This tastes like a normal Popeye's chicken tender to me. This one, I understand why they took off the menu because it's almost identical. This should definitely stay off the menu. Yeah, yeah I, I think so. Mm -hmm. Let me know in the comments down below which one we missed because I think that was a lot of fun. Which one did you guys enjoy the most? I think, wow, it's a lot of, a lot of those menus or those items I, have ne I haven't seen before. I haven't seen those, like a lot of them items. Actually, have I seen any of those items? I don't think I've seen any of those items. Uh, no, yeah, I have. I have the chicken chalupa. I knew that one. Um, and the double down, I have seen that one. It makes sense why they would take down the double down and uh, definitely the lobster. I never seen a lobster sandwich from McDonald's. It, it, it had to be probably in a different country. Because have, have you ever seen a lobster sandwich from McDonald's ever? I haven't seen it. It might have been in a different country. I'm not sure. But if it was in the United States, I totally missed it. Probably when I stopped eating fast food like that. But um, definitely, that lobster one, I want to try one from a good restaurant or a good, uh, what do you call them, the uh, food trucks. If y'all know of any, drop it in the comments, man. I want to go do a taste test. And I will record. If I go there, I'm going to record it. Y'all going to see me taste it. Honest opinion. All that good stuff. If y'all want to see it, drop it down in the comments, man. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Drop in the comments which item you'd like to see come back to the fast food uh, menu. And uh, subscribe if you're new. It's to the TV. I'm out. Peace. Yeah.